Fred Desjardins, 55 years old uranium miner was coming home from his job at Key Lake, about 550 kilometers north of Saskatoon, Canada, when the wolf lunged at him from the ditch. Desjardins said the wolf bit him several times on the back, arm, leg and groin. He grabbed it around the neck and tried to wrestle it into submission. A busload of his co-workers showed up and helped chase the wolf away. Dejerle received stitches and he was taken to hospital, where he has been undergoing a series of rabies shots. Dejerle said he thinks the wolf hungry and sick. It was limping when it approached him. He wasn't a young, healthy one. If he was he wouldn't have been there. He wouldn't have done what he did. It was just an older wolf that was doing what he had to do to survive, and I just reacted, thank God, the way I did and survived it. After the assault on Desjardins, Cameco built an electric fence around Key Lake's landfill to prevent further predatory animal assaults on miners. Authorities hunted and shot the wolf that attacked Desjardins. They tested the wolf's body for rabies, but the test was negative. And then 10 months later, Ontario geology student Kenton Carnegie was killed by wolves at Points North Landing, a mining supply camp in the same area as Key Lake. Unprovoked attacks on humans by healthy wolves are rare among the roughly 70,000 wolves that live in Canada and Alaska, according to a 2002 study by the Alaska Department of Fish and Game. You should watch the interesting movie called The Grey. It's all about the fight between human and animal.